The one thing about being a content creator in posting videos online is people can read you. They can read when something is wrong. They can read when you're overly excited or something is going on in the background. And I'm saying this because I've watched a couple of videos that Miss Rudy has done, like interviews. And I'm convinced, 100% sure, something is wrong. I don't know what it is. Something is wrong in her life. She's going through something that is really taking a toll on her. And it has been going on for a while because I've watched Miss Trudy for years, since 2017. I've been a, like a lover of her content. Something is wrong. Miss Trudy, blink twice if you're in trouble. I don't know if it's just me who has noticed, but... I don't think she's okay. I don't think this is the mystery that I used to know. But guys, let me know if I'm wrong. First of all, I didn't know y'all are so pissed or so invested in Miss Trudy's marriage and life. Specifically marriage. I didn't know. I made a very innocent video based of an interview I had watched. And I didn't know you guys felt the way you felt because the comment section, I got a hundred thousand views in one day because of that video. I didn't spread it. But now that the cat is out of the bag, let's talk about it. Because I've gone now back and watched videos they've done together as a couple. And then there's this video that she came when she was trying to address some of the issues. And in my own little psychology that I know, and my little experience as a woman in relationships with men, especially men from different cultures, what is happening with Miss Trudy is she's going to leave. She's going to leave, but she's going to leave at her own time. A time is going to come when she's a bit self-aware, she has a bit of courage. She has a bit of self-esteem. And she's going to leave. And the day she will leave, they will not have a fight. They will not argue. They will not have a disagreement. It is just something that is going to click in her head. And it's going to leave. I don't think that marriage is going to work. And I'm not saying as somebody who is married or whatever, but I'm speaking as somebody who has been in long-term long relationships and I know porous relationships. When water starts coming into the boat and the captain is not trying to cover the holes that are making the water come into the boat, the boat's going to sink. Anyways, enough analogy. <clears throat> Let's break it down. One thing about this, I'm going based off what she was explaining online. I'm a hundred percent convinced, and you guys can tell me if I'm wrong and I am okay with you calling me out. I am a hundred percent convinced Wadamaya doesn't want to be with Miss Rudy. I'm a hundred percent convinced. He does it. He likes something about her. There's some aspects he likes about her. Maybe it's her ambition, her drive, her dedication, her hard work, and the fact that she's an independent woman and she can do everything for herself, etc. Maybe he likes that kind of thing. You know, he likes those aspects. But liking her as a person, he doesn't. Because tell me why the two of you are travel vloggers or travel YouTubers. You met on the job, you fall in love, you get married, and then all of a sudden, your husband doesn't want to travel with you, and you think he's fine, you think it's okay, it's not. Tell me I'm wrong, guys, it's not. You are in the same field. In fact, it's much easier for you to travel together than it is to travel alone. And in my assessment, Wodemeyer likes to travel alone because he likes the freedom 
that comes with him being perceived as a single man. And you know what that means. Number two, the interview they were doing together when an older guy, I can't remember, an older guy was interviewing them. There was no ounce of love. There's no ounce of these people being a couple. Through this body language, I was cringing every time the camera was pointed at her because she, she looked like hooched in. You know, like, she's just like, oh my God, I'm comfortable. Like, what, what time is this thing going to end so that I go back home? I didn't see them touch each other. I didn't see them hold hands. I didn't see what they like say something funny, you know, cutesy, you know, something demure about his babe. I didn't say it. I didn't see Trudy saying, oh, babe, you can't say that. Oh, babe. <laughs> you know how people do in relationship. You've seen couples being interviewed on Lingugi, couples who are in love. You see how they act. Couples who like each other. Imagine Simon Kabu and Sarah Kabu, an older couple. You know, older couple, almost our parents' ages. But they try PDA. I know we are Africans and maybe PDA is not our thing. But we see it. We see it with the likes of uh, um, Burugimunye and her husband. We see it with the likes of um, Joyce, uh, Joyce Omondi and Wahiga Maura. And these are older people. Like I'm not saying like Gen Zs, like older people. We used to see it with President Uhuru and his madam. I mean, President Uhuru is something else, but that we can't go into now. Let me tell you, if you have a bit of psychology, you know these are the dying the last kicks of a dying hose and then three and this i'm going to put as a disclaimer before you people from the west come for me miss trudy married in a very dangerous culture and i mean this with utmost respect the way women in West Africa are conditioned, they are conditioned to survive marriage. They are conditioned to stay there no matter what. They are conditioned for better or worse, for worse and worse and worse. They are conditioned that it's a woman's job to make a home. They are conditioned that you have to do whatever it takes to make this marriage work. But the same is not applied to men. And you can see it from the celebrity couples, how the women what they go through and you can even see it from davido and chioma's wedding when chioma got married to davido comments of people saying oh you are a strong woman you are a model you are a true african queen you know how to stand by your man you i inspire us i want to be like you you see that nonsense that is where truly married into and i know this is not everybody in west africa that think this some of them don't, but a culture like that will make you a prisoner. Because you cannot live while people around you are telling you, my sister, this is normal. Where are you going? Is he not providing? Is he not a good man? Is he not coming back home to you after he has traveled the world? What is it? And worst of all, if you cannot have children, oh my God, it's a double tragedy. For me, I'll tell Miss Trudy this, and I'm saying this as somebody who has been a, an ardent fan of her content for years. Take your time. Take your time. I know this is something that is, you don't want to admit, my sister. We've all been there in relationship where we don't want to come out of them. Take your time. But you and I both know when you sleep at night, this is not the life you envisioned for yourself. This is not the kind of husband you wanted. This is not something you want. You want a partner. You don't want a man who just wants to, wants a wife. You want a man that takes marriage seriously and looks at marriage as a partnership between the two of you. You do stuff together. You travel together. You sit down to have dinner together. You visit family together. You do your videos together. You do whatever it is. But this is a classic definition of being married but you're single 
And the pain that comes from such a situation, it's only the person inside that can admit. And I know maybe Wadamaya is not a bad person. Maybe he's a good man. But we as women need to understand that a man can be a good man, but just not good for you. But like I always say when it comes to relationship, my, sister, my sisters and brothers, I'm just but a small girl. I don't know much. I am also just trying to learn and grow and do my own. So if I have said something to offend anyone, please correct me in the comments, but with respect. Miss Trudy, this is a, a ticking time bomb, and a time will come that you'll find yourself. I said what I said.